my skeletons. It's me, Danny, and welcome to How Macabre. Today we're going to be doing a cliffhanger. I've heard so many things about these cliffhanger app stories and how wonderfully terrible they are and how hopefully scary they are. So let's let's give it a try. Who knows? Who knows, right? Who knows? Here we go. Laura. Do you hear that noise? Ethan. WTF are you talking about? I think you left the faucet running upstairs again. It's driving me nuts, and I can't sleep. I didn't even use the upstairs bathroom. I heard footsteps up there earlier, and Dad's not home. Oh, so are they brother and sister? Why are they texting each other in the same house? Can't they like go to each other's bedroom? Is, is that what society has come to these days? So, by process of elimination, it was you. Oh, you smart, Loa. Are you a detective or something? I'm a detective. A damn good detective. Ethan, you are so lazy. Just turn it off yourself. So is he admitting that he did it then? Uh, fine. Ooh, I like options. I like options. Fine, I'll do it myself. Just do it, Ethan. Um, the well, process of elimination, because he was the one who do it, he should do it, so. No, I am doesn't. Just do it, Ethan. Ugh, one second. You left the window open in here, too. Two. So he's saying that she not only left the, the faucet on, but also the window, but he didn't even admit. I'm confused. I'm very confused. No, I didn't. The window's open and the faucet is all the way on. It's on the donkey kong bitch. What the hell? I think someone broke... <laughs> hold on, hold on. A few moments later. <laughs> oh. Um... If I was in this situation and someone broke into my house and I was talking to my sibling, I would possibly not type it in a text. I would just rush to her room, his or her room, sibling, and lock the door. And that way we're both safe in one room, hopefully. And if there's a burglar or whatever, then both of us could take him on, right? I think someone broke in. What? Wait. That's not a question, so. What? What? Not funny, Ethan. There's blood all over. Like, someone was washing off blood. WTF? Are you messing with me? Can you get to the safe room? Who has a safe room? I'm just trying to, is it like uh, like a basement or something, like in case of a tornado or a natural disaster? Because I can't think of any other reason why you might have a safe room. I don't, I don't know, what, do you guys have a safe room? Tell me down below if you have a safe room, because either I'm out of the loop of not having a safe room, or I don't know. AKA, the Paranoid Panic Bunker. You should come with me. I need to check this out first. Oh, Ethan, you're a man. Such a man, aren't you? You gotta check this out. You got some balls on you, don't you? Okay, he's a ball chinian. Oh. oh, Ethan, I see your balls have dropped. Yes. Let me know when you're locked in there. Okay, I'm in. Thank God Dad is such a paranoid weirdo. Just stay there. Don't come out until I tell you. I think I heard something. Seriously, if you... Okay, there's a break-in, and you think you heard something, so you're like this? That's gonna, like, eliminate so many of your senses. You're not gonna 
like be able to turn around or whatever if someone's sneaking up behind you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not complaining. This is very well written. Very well written. I think I heard something. I'm going to check out the guest room. Don't be stupid, Ethan. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is it? What do you see? Here we go, folks. Picture time. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed in this. What is that, like a mirror? It looks like a broken mirror. I'm guessing the burglar is very ugly or they don't like their reflection, maybe? Or they're a vampire? Are they a vampire? Do cliffhanger, does cliffhanger do like stories about vampires in like supernatural shit? That's something I wanna see. I wanna see horror story. Maybe I should just be reading the pasta. I, I'm done. Uh, I'm yeah, sorry, I'm rambling off. Here we go. WTF? What is that? Answer me! Call 911 right now. Stay in there and don't come out. OMG! What is that noise? I, I wish they could tell us like what kind of noise it is. Is it like a creepy music? Or... I would love it if it's like a creepy music background. I would love if it was like creepy music. Ethan, are you okay? I heard someone yell. I guess that was a noise. Don't worry, that was just me. My screams sound like small kittens. I tripped. What? Everything is okay. Where are you? Still in the safe room. And I'm staying here until I know what's going on. You told me not to come out. What if it's the killer person or breaking and entering person that is messaging her now. I see what you're doing, Cliffhanger. I'm way ahead of you. And now I'm telling you to come out. It's fine. Did you already call the police? Not yet. Good. False alarm. Don't call them. Are you kidding me? There was blood on the sink. I guess I cut myself shaving. Yeah, this is definitely the person breaking in. Now messaging her. I'm guessing he or she killed her brother and took up the phone and it's like, hey, I'm gonna kill you too. So let me message you like you do, you siblings. Because siblings constantly text message each other to communicate nowadays, right? You never shave upstairs. And you couldn't grow a beard if you had a gun to your head. I don't think anyone could grow a beard if they had a gun to their head, my dear. It was just a stupid prank. Also, notice, notice that this person's putting periods at the end of every sentence and they got like perfect grammar. So, this ain't your brother Ethan. This is some highly intelligent killer person. A damn good detective. Yeah, just come out of there and I'll explain it ever. Whoa. No. Okay, if you're not coming out, you can at least tell me what the safe room is like. That, yeah, that, that's a highly suspicious question. What do you mean? Anything cool in there? Nothing interesting, I'm not telling you. Nothing interesting. Maybe dad's old files and stuff? Important papers? Maybe, maybe not. I want to check it out. No. How do I know it's really you? Thank you! You finally caught on, Laura. You smart! You're a very smart girl! I know what you're saying. You're so smart. Of course it's me. Tell me something only Ethan would know. There you go. Okay, you're a huge pain in the ass. Oh wait, everyone knows that. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. I broke my arm when I was a kid. Yes, you did. Right, now open the door. There's a photo of Ethan in the guest room. He's standing by my dad and he's wearing a cast. Oh, you smart, Laura. You're very smart. Damn good, detective. You could have seen that. You're being paranoid. 
It's easy to be paranoid when you're locked in a steel panic room. Let me out! Let me out! This is not a dance! This is stupid. Just come out of there. Fine, I'll come out. I don't believe you're really Ethan. Does this really, do these options really affect the story, I'm wondering? Because it doesn't really seem like they do. I'm just going to go ahead and directly say, I don't believe you're Ethan, because she's smart. I don't believe you're really Ethan. This is ridiculous. But I'll give you one last chance to prove it. Just answer one last question. Are you really my brother? What? Of course. You swear to God? Yes. What Are they Christians? Are they like super duper Christian? And they're like, she's like, okay, if you're lying, then you will go to hell. Fallen one, I am Satan. I am your god now. <laughs> okay, I'm willing to die. Is that... Is that the logic that's going through her head? Ugh. Yes. I'm calling the cops now. What? Why? Because you're not my brother. You're being crazy. The cops are on their way. Just unlock your door. Of course I'm your brother. I don't have a brother. Wait, what? So who was Ethan? Is Ethan her boyfriend then? Is he a boyfriend? A cousin? That's staying over? Childhood friend? What? I'm so confused. Police arrived at the MacArthur residence at 2.44 a.m. on Wednesday, May 3rd. The intruder had fled the scene and remains at large. Laura MacArthur was found unharmed in the family's safe room. Her cousin, Ethan Carl, yep, yeah, cousin. Her cousin, Ethan Carlson, was found unconscious, suffering from multiple stab wounds. Ow, poor guy. Tis but a scratch. Read chapter two to discover what happens when the intruder returns. Well, that was fun and confusing. I don't know so much about scary, but confusing. I'm confused. I love you to your bones, my skeletons. See you soon. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul, seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons, speak with.